It is approaching the landing zone now. Landing legs have deployed. The bullseye landing of the SpaceX booster rocket back at Cape Canaveral in February was remarkable. Stage one touchdown. But even more amazing has been the dramatic rebirth of the space industry, left in shambles when the shuttle program ended with the last landing in 2011. Main gear touchdown. This area has been really uh, hurt a number of times in the past by an overdependence on a large federal program. And I swore at that time that I'd never see that happen again. DeBello has overseen the transformation of the area known for decades as the Space Coast. Some 9,000 jobs evaporated when the shuttle program ended. Since then, more than 7,000 new jobs have been created, and thousands more are forecast. Not so much from NASA, but from the booming commercial space industry. Today, uh, we are no longer just launching rockets. We are building the rockets we launch. We are building two next generation spacecraft, and we're building satellites. Attracted by tax incentives, quality of life, cost of living, a strong aerospace history, the list of companies is impressive and growing. Boeing, Lockheed Martin, SpaceX, United Launch Alliance, Blue Origin. Just a handful of miles from the launch sites, Blue Origin is building a massive manufacturing plant for its reusable rocket that will bring 300 jobs. About a year from now, on this piece of land behind me, there will be a manufacturing facility that is expected to crank out three satellites every day. The company, OneWeb, will bring another 250 jobs as the first ever firm to mass produce satellites for a global communications network of some 900 satellites. Part of the company's mission to connect to one million schools. Florida made more than just good business sense. To top it off, you have all of the, the history that's here uh, with Kennedy and the space program. And we looked at that and said, look, we're going to be doing something really new uh, in the space industry. What better place to put it than across the street from Kennedy? Companies like OneWeb are, DeBello says, the future. How much more growth do you see down the road? I'm seeing this as a hotbed of technology and I look at this as also becoming more and more of a Silicon Valley East. The evidence of rebirth is in what rocket folks call smoke and fire. With some 30 launches scheduled this year, all you need do is look up to see the future unfolding. John Zarella, CGTN, Kennedy Space Center, Florida.